of leaf. Ugu and water leaf. Ugu and water leaves. Are the ugu which type of food? How many food they stew rather? You they take them, they prepare. We use it to prepare obono soup, egusi soup, ugu soup, and vegetable okra. Vegetable okra. After a long day at work, it's time to to eat something delicious. So let's go inside. Good afternoon. Half an hour. How you doing? Oga, okay, which kind of food day? Semo. Wheat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I think I'll go, I go, go for that fufu. Uh, plate of fufu is that much? Extra meat, call. Uh, give me plate of fufu. Aku with uh, two extra meat. Hello everyone, welcome to Artisan Experience with MC Sunman. On this episode, it's all about food seller. And we are at this Igbo restaurant where they sell all kinds of Igbo delicacy, talking of oa soup, ogono soup, edikai kom, bitter leaf, water leaf, everything there. And even some swallow food where we say when you de chop them, it go they give you energy. Energy, I mean, you know, apple day, uh, you know now, gari day, uh, wheat day. Everything day for year. So with the year, I'll be asking about their experience, how the business they go, what is happening, and even the challenges with them they face. Stay tuned and don't touch it. Madam, good morning, ma. Good morning. Uh, but, uh, this uh, place where we do now, like how many types of leaves do for this side? We have two types of leaves, ugu and water leaves. Ugu and water leaves. Uh, the ugu, which type of food? How many food uh, stew rather? You they take and they prepare. We use it to prepare obono soup, egusi soup, ugu soup, and vegetable okra. Vegetable okra. So, like, how many minutes did it take like before you go settle for this one? This one take me like one hour to one hour to thirty minutes before I, yes before I finish it. This morning station. So uh, afternoon station today. Yes, that afternoon station we prepare our hot soup, ugu soup. So that means say for morning now now this uh, uh, ugu and uh, water leaf. We prepare water leaves that is liquid liquid soup. By from 4 30 down. So we prepare a gusi obono, morning station, and vegetable okra. These three soup will come out latest by 11 o'clock. Three soup by 11 o'clock this morning. And for afternoon, like how many soup like that? We have about three soup again. Oha soup, bitter leaf soup, and water leaf. That is a little icon. So all together now for the whole day now, like how many type of food it be like that? We have all seven types of soup. We have white soup with a point and kill fish. That is fresh fish. So guys, I'm with the Madame Gogon. We'll be saying that she gets this place. Uh, Madam, tell us your name, uh, what thing they do, and your business name. My name is Mrs. Bridget Oyachonam. I'm from Anambra State. I'm doing restaurant business, joined with Mama Foods. Then uh, my business name is uh, Wanyokuzo Kitchen. Wanyokuzo Kitchen. So, madam, how long you don't stay? Where you don't do this business? I've been doing the business now for 12 years. I spent eight years in uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Formerly, I was in Cote d'Ivoire doing the same business. Then I came back to Nigeria. I wanted to start the business in Lagos, but I couldn't get space. My people now advised me to come to Ilori, so I'm now four years in Ilori. But I thank God, land of Ilori favor me, honestly. I can see this smile. Say you don't the chop our money for this town. <laughs> so, madam, I want to make you tell us your experience now. So far in the job. All the bad experience them where you don't get, where people don't do you. Make you tell us some where if you remember. Now. You know, there is an adage that said that nothing good comes easy. That is my belief. 
Uh, I've experienced a lot, a lot in the business. You no, know, my first experience was when I'm in Cote d'Ivoire. Then broke my first shop. I have to start carrying the food in the markets, you know, to make sure that I will survive. You mean you hawk food inside markets? I hawk food. I hawk food. I carry transparent uh, plastic. I will put the food inside, take it away, carry it on my head. You know, shouting buy, buy food, buy food. I have a goose. I have, you know, without that you can't sell. You understand? So I hawk food. You no. Know, after that. When I look at the way things is going, I have to relocate to Nigeria. When I came back, you know, I find myself in uh, Huara State. I started the business here in Huara State. That earlier time, it was not easy at all. The first day we started this place, my brother said that he invited the whole Ilore. I have to use the cash, I have to cook everything and cook everything to make sure that our people, you know, find the good thing in it. At the end of the day, we'll find nobody. So the first day, where you, where you cook everything? Yes, the first day I started this place, we'll find nobody. So the food was for my children. They eat and eat. The remaining one will pour it inside the dustbin. I started with credits in the market. So buying meat, when I buy, I return. When I buy, despite that they don't know me for the first time. But the faith that is in them, I don't know if it's the faith that makes them to be giving me the credit, but for once I never disappoint them. Yeah, I just thank God for that. So after that, when my people started knowing me, you know, coming, I started having customers. In fact, the market started selling. We don't rest, we sit down in the morning, I will stand from morning to night, no rest, nothing. Sometimes I will not even eat from morning to night. So from there, then there is a woman that came a day like this. I was I went somewhere where my people called me. That one woman was fighting in the shop. I have to rush back to my shop. When I met her, I said, Madam, what happened? She said, Ah, she paid my people money and they refused to give her change. And I asked them money, they no give her change. They refused to give her change. And I asked my daughter, Sidonie, what happened? She said the woman did not pay money. She finished eating and she was requesting for change. And I asked her, Madam, how much is your change? I gave her the 500. She said 500, I gave her the 500. Just for peace to reign. Because On top, say, where she don't even pay. Yes, because I know be wala type. I know like wala for my life, you know. So after I have written, like two hours, she came with a one van, which was at civil defense. Then packed my girls and then went. You know, being a new person, I don't know their place. I have to rush. Someone directs me to one uh, police station in GRA. I rushed here. I couldn't find them. When I now call someone, they said they were in civil defense office. I went there. I tell you, what is the problem? They said she, they accused her of stealing from us. You know? But I thank God the matter ended the war. I have to withdraw the case. So you pay money to even bail out your people there? I don't pay money because I know she spoiled many of my things. When I brought her the video of the things that she spoiled, People was like begging me, Madam, please. And I tell them that I want to take the matter to court. They say, no, please, that I should forgive her. So no. she yes. So after everything, I have to wave it out. You know, sometimes some people will come when they finish eating. You know, they finish eating the food. They will tell you that, ah, Madam, this food is not sweet. Why do you cook this kind of rubbish? Sometimes, man, say they will eat finish. They will tell you that the meat is strong. And when you find the meat inside plate, you can't find. You know, you will not see the meat. They are finished eating the meat because say they know what. <laughs> Wala. Instead of the person to say that, ah, please, I don't have money. The person will make it in a wala yes. way so that the person will go out with the money. When I look, I overlook things easily. I will just tell my people to leave the person to go. Sometimes, man, say the person will eat when you tell them, madam, there is no pepper in this soup. He will come outside and be pouring spits. No pepper in the soup, and then. And the eat the food finish you and there is no pepper, you know. Some kind of uh, wala that you meet, something that is not even, sometimes they will eat the meat, they will tell you that the meat is rotten and you can't find the meat inside plate, you know. You, you don't experience matter, we say this one they happen for this side, where they go speak, give you money and they go talk, say one money, where they give you, go make the whole money, where they don't make, disappear. Now, another thing entirely, I will be accusing the girl that is holding my money. 
Sometimes we'll say from morning to night, at the end of the day, we'll not find anything. I was, I would be wondering, ah, what happened? What happened to the money? You know, when you ask them too much question, then too, they will think you are accusing them of stealing. And you know, me being the, someone that buy markets to say, I know how much I make in a day. And at the end of the day, you can't find that amount or even more than that. You, you understand? You know that something is wrong. Is a uh, one of my friends that normally tell me that these people they use bad money to pay. So when they pay, the money will be disappearing. So I never notice it. I don't know about it. You understand? It was when I start business, I know that something like that is happening. So how you take the they stop them? If you as as it don't be like that, how you take? Yes, I've now find a way that they will ask me to put a alligator pepper in my uh, apron. They will now ask me to put a, all this a garlic. That that is some things that will not allow it charcoal, something like that. Yes, so you not gonna allow it to move. Out. Sometimes pin. Some people use pin. That when you use pin, the thing will not happen. So another bad experience is during that time of scarcity of money. Ah, it was very terrible. Ah, I will be sweating like Christmas goods. Every minute, my body will be hot. People will be telling you, Madam, I transfer the one I'm going. They will not even have patience. At a time, I have to place no transfer, no POS, so that people will be coming with cash. When they not come, they will come down because you place it. If the person wants to make noise, now as the person, Mister, didn't you see the POS? No POS, no transfer. No, they will be begging to transfer. But when they transfer, I really lost a lot too during that scarcity of cash. You don't experience a uh, time where we say maybe some of your uh, girls then they take money and you cash them. Yes, I. That was my second badge of uh, employees. When she came, she when she collected the money. Every time, anytime she collect money from customer and we didn't notice it, she will ask you that she, she will tell you that she wants to go and use herself. So that very day, I saw the money in her hand and I call her. What, the money that is in your hand is money that customer gave you. She said no, that she went to a with that one of her church members gave her the money. You know, I didn't take it as anything. I said, okay, from now on, don't collect money from my customers. Once they eat finish coming, let me come and collect the money by myself. So, surprisingly, the following day, the girl came with a group of people to come and fight me. That I call her thief. That I call her thief that she steal from me. Do you know that the whole group that is working with me during that season, all of them leave the job. I was doing the work alone with one of my sisters that is cutting no go for me, no fashion water and everything. But thank God, you know, in a restaurant business, they say, soldier go, soldier come. But I remain the same. So I will still continue like that. But I thank God, I thank God. So this is a plate of, a plate of apple with three extra meat. How much this one? Seven right now. Um, uh, um, uh, you go chop tire for you. Guys, um, let me wash my hands because uh, it's been a long day. Wow, 700 naira. 700 naira. Subscribe to NC Some Man on YouTube and Instagram.